Okay, we are officially overusing the word spa. I'm not. I don't think I've ever said the word spa until just now. I bet I could go the rest of my life without ever saying spa. Starting right now. People think they can just slap the word spa on something and suddenly it's special and they can charge more. Dental spa? No. If there's a tube sucking spit out of your mouth that sounds like an eight-year-old finishing a milkshake, you are not at a spa. That is not a spa day. Like dental spa? Mm-hmm. Dang it. I just said it again. It's like a sneaky word. Sneaky spa word. Okay, this is freaking me out. And the lady is like, that house is haunted. Back in 1922, some woman died there, gotten a lover's quarrel gone wrong. Okay. You know that I believe in aliens. Just point blank period. Because it makes sense. Even if we don't have the data that there are actually aliens, it's a reasonable assertion. Because the universe is humongo. Why wouldn't there be aliens? There's enough room for all of us. But ghosts? I, I just can't get on board the ghost train. That's because you gotta take the crazy train to catch the ghost train. Let's run this little ghost story by the good people over at the LNR department, shall we? Oh, yeah, LNR. Let's loop in logic and reason. The ultimate Ghostbusters. Or in your case, Buzz, Ghost Buzzsters. Uh... T-shirt? Add it to the vision board. About it. Okay, reviewing. A hundred years ago, a young lady in a house has a lover's quarrel. So old-timey. Now people just fight. And somehow she perishes. That's a nice way of saying it. And the assertion is that her soul or her essence is stuck in the house, still ticked off about this lover's quarrel. Or maybe mad about the perishing part. Either way, it don't matter, man. I mean, think about it. She's self-quarantining for a hundred years. I'm not buying that. I think we now know that after about six weeks, she'd stop haunting the house, start haunting the bars. And now look, doggy spa. Doggy spa? No. Doggies don't deserve a spa day? What about the doggies in that Humane Society commercial, the one that makes my eyes drip with the salty water? They don't deserve a spa day. That's fine. They get one. Okay, good. But those rich people snooty foo-foo dogs? No, no. No, no, you're right. It could be argued, though, they do have one of the, like, more stressful doggy assignments. Look who they got to be best friends to. Nope. Oh, no. Sorry, guys. No spa day for you. You're just an accessory. I feel like the dogs at the Humane Society, they should get a spa day for sure. Spa day, check. The other ones, the other one. they should get time in the mud. You know what I'm time, saying? A mud like, pack. A mud pack. <laughs> well, no, a no, mud, mud pack. pack is spot. But like, get in the mud, go kill a chicken. I don't know. <laughs> go kill a chicken. Because that's what they're out there. They're like, dang. Man, I love. I, I don't love, want them to kill a chicken. No, <laughs> I love being in this purse. But if, if I could just get me a chicken. <laughs> I don't mean good chicken. No. I would just feel so much more relaxed. Okay. I don't. If I could just kill a chicken. No, okay. Let's forget about kill a chicken. <laughs> Hey, thank you for watching this far. Finish strong, hit subscribe, turn on the bell thingy for notifications, and let's do this right. Have a great day, America.